we just knew that he had done something. A web of lies is being exposed after a local woman's death is ruled a suicide. Then her doctor husband is arrested for murder. Pictures like this might indicate a happy marriage, but the victim's parents say something sinister was going on behind closed doors. 13 Action News reporter Masa Saidi is talking with the family about how they're trying to get justice. Over the lunch break, did you look at the exhibit? No. Psychologist Gregory Dennis grilled during an inquiry into the death of his wife, Susan Winters. Attorneys telling him the camera never stopped rolling. Is it still your testimony that you didn't look at the exhibit over the break? I may have. A likes to lie. He can't tell you the truth. Police agree, saying Dennis killed Susan by feeding her painkillers and antifreeze. At times, her parents overcome. Turn the camera off when discussing her brutal death. But their attorney yeah. says Dennis not um, so moved. You think this is funny? Susan oh, Winters is dead. To tell you the truth, we were excited that he acted that way. The doctor facing questions about the day it happened. Detectives say he knew too much. Do not um, speak to paramedics to tell them that she had taken a large amount of oxycodone. I don't recall that. Months later, attorneys allege Dennis tampered with witnesses. Have you ever said let me get a lawyer for you. No. My lawyer will go down with you. I don't recall. Police say the finances were rocky. The marriage, stormy. Susan texting friends, quote, Dennis was either having an affair or was gay. Then there was his admitted drug use. She said she was going to turn you in for using drugs. Did you ever like him? Yes, we liked him. We thought he was fine. But tonight, they say they're hoping one day he'll be sentenced to life in prison and they'll be reunited with Susan's children. Are my granddaughters going to be a sacrifice to some law? <laughs> And you can see we tried to speak with Dennis as he made bail, but he declined to comment. We are always willing to hear his side. Carla? 